so what I need to do is that I need to visit what um Google um Firebird console. So I'll type Firebird, and then I have Firebird here. So I'll create one here, a package name. So chiri chiri chara chara, we are loading. We are loading. So now I need to create a new package name. So I'll hit on add new. Then what is going to be my um, project name? So my project name is going to be um, um, what will I name it? Infix DVS. Yes. Then next. Then I'll hit on continue again. Then Google Analysis Configuration. I say use the various systems for that. Okay. So let's give you some few seconds to um, create our project for us. Chiri chiri chara chara. I'll be back when the whole project is created. All right. So it's done creating our project. So chiri chiri chara chara. We hit on the continue button and then we continue to our project. Now at this point, now you are supposed to select which platform you are creating the json file for is it ios is it android or you are going to embed it on a web so i'm doing it for an android so i hit on the android button here then they are asking for my package name and the package name is what com.dvs.d sorry edu so that's what you are supposed to type so don't forget this so i'll go back then i'll type com dot dvs dot edu now this is what i need now what is my android application name so the name is going to be the viral systems the viral system then at this point you can either give a shark key or not but for this tutorial i will just take you through how to create that key so we go back to um our android studio then this time let me maximize my screen then i'll come to grill here then from there i'll come to app then from app i'll come to android then i have signing report so i hit on signing report and that is going to generate what my sha dash one key for me so we just pick that key and then you take it to what i'm um, fire bed and then include it so let's give you some few seconds to create that key for us all right so chiri chiri chara chara our key is created so what we need to do is that we need to copy the whole of this long key then which is our shark key then we paste it here and then we register our app chiri chiri chara chara so we are going we are going to the next step we are registering now this is the service json file that we are supposed to download and replace it with the one that comes with what, the android studio app by the developer so i will download my file here so my file is downloaded so i will open the location of my file and what i need to do is that i need to go back to android studio and then replace what comes with the original android app with my new file so i'll go back to android studio and at this point i'll come to android here then i'll switch to um project files then at this point i'll navigate down to app then i have my json file here where i need to replace what the new one i have just created with this one which is located in what app if you're not seeing it here what you need to do is that you go to this location and open up and then you have the json file here you can replace but i'm replacing it straightforward from what android studio so what i'll do is that i'll go to um my json file then drag it then i'll drop it on the app folder and it tells me that this particular file in the directory already exists so i said okay and then override it and then chiri chiri chara chara it is overriding it and then the file has been overwritten so now what i need to do is that i need to rebuild my application so i will go to build then i'll come to clean first so i'll clean the project first before i build the project so clean the project first by hitting on the clean button and then cannot clean project whilst rebuilding is in progress okay so um it is rebuilding so let's give it some few seconds to um to work on that chiri chiri chara chara so it's building here it's rebuilding 
So now let's clean our project again. So any errors at all you have, clean the project and rebuild it. So project is clean. So now let's rebuild to see whether we still have um, package name error appearing or not. If the project is rebuilt successfully, then that means that you have succeeded in adding what? Your Google service JSON file to your Android app, which is now you, your package name. Now remember this, if you change the package name without creating a new Google JSON file, you will have that error as you saw earlier on on the screen. So please be reminded and stay tuned. So let's give you some few seconds when it finished building, then we'll come back. All right, voila, our project has finished rebuilding successfully and there are no errors any longer because the package name matches with the package name on the android studio so once we are done they'll go back to project files and we'll switch it back to android which is our normal view that we'll be working with chiri chiri chara chara so stay tuned with the virus system and if you like my tutorial and what i'm doing support me by hitting on the subscribe button on your screen and hit the bell button so that you will not miss any tutorial from me i bet you this is the platform that you can get the best to learn and ask any questions you want and i'm ready to answer you at any time anywhere any place that i am that is how i do it that is how i work so please visit my blog thevirussystem.com to get scripts to try at your fingertips before you purchase them from the original vendor at code can you so stay tuned please don't use them for commercial use be advised and stay away from that buy original script from the original vendor and code can you thank you and stay tuned till um we're coming back with how to change what your android app name your android app name your android app name stay tuned